Okay, so let's have another look at this triangle. So here we've got a uh, triangle of size 7, and we've marked inside here a, a certain sub-triangle of size 4, uh, pointing upwards. And uh, there's a bunch of other triangles of, of various sizes nested inside this big size 7 triangle. Okay, uh, here's a random selection of them. And so the question is, uh, how many different uh, sub-triangles like this are there? Yeah, again, only counting the, the ones that point upwards. <coughs> So how can we count these? Well, uh, let's have a look like this. right? Um, so uh, have a look at uh, this triangle that we've highlighted here. Um, and it's got a 2 in it. Um, so why has it got a 2? That's because there's two different triangles that have this highlighted triangle as the bottom right corner. Uh, we can just take the kind of one by one triangle uh, that uh, that's the one that we've highlighted, or we can stretch it up to the left a bit um, to be a, a, a triangle of size 2, uh, <coughs> which reaches to the, uh, the left-hand edge of the main triangle. So those, those are the only two possibilities for a, a triangle which has this uh, highlighted triangle as the bottom right corner. Uh, of course, there's only two possibilities. We've written a 2 there. Uh, if we instead highlight this triangle here, um, well, we've written a 4 in there because there's four different triangles that we can have uh, that have this highlighted triangle as the bottom right corner. We can have a one of size one, one of size two, one of size three, one of size four. But if we stretch it out to size four, then we hit the left edge of the big triangle, and uh, so we can't stretch it any further. So there's four possibilities for having a, uh, a nested triangle uh, with this highlighted triangle as the bottom right corner. And uh, you know, similarly here, we have two possibilities. Here we have three possibilities. And uh, if we go all the way down to the bottom right uh, corner of the main thing, then uh, there's uh, seven possibilities for a uh, triangle with uh, this highlighted triangle as the bottom right corner. We can have one of size one, or of two, or of three, or of four, or of five, or of six, or of seven. Okay. So uh, in each of these triangles here, we've uh, written the number of possible triangles uh, that have uh, this small triangle as the bottom right corner. Okay. So uh, that means that the uh, total number of possible nested triangles is just going to be the uh, sum of all the numbers that we've written in, these, uh, in, this, uh, in this diagram. Okay. But that's exactly what we were looking at in the last demonstration. There we showed that uh, if you've got n rows, then the uh, to and we uh, fill in numbers in, in this pattern we've got here, then the uh, total of all the numbers is going to be n plus 2 choose 3. So uh, that's, that's going to be the answer here. If we have a, a, tri a big triangle like this with n rows, then the total number of nested sub-triangles is going to be n plus 2 choose 3. 